What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's video, we're actually in the car right now. We're heading up to Dayton. So we're gonna be doing an install. Today's Saturday and uh, we're gonna go install some parts on my friend Kevin's car who you've seen on this channel before. So Kevin is the guy that had the E92 M3 that he sold and now he's driving an E90 328i as his daily. He loves the car. Um, obviously it's not a fast car and he knows that, but he loves the thing. It's super fun for him. It's a manual transmission, so that's probably why. Um, but he's spending a lot of time just kind of doing some exterior modifications just to kind of spice things up with the car and make it a little bit more enjoyable to drive. So he's got some parts that we're going to be installing in today's video. So like I said, Kevin's got, I think it's a 2007 um, E90-328i. It's a pre-LCI. Um, it is an X-Drive, so good for the winter, I guess, for him. And um, so like I said, he's doing a you know, some cosmetic modifications just to make things a little bit nicer looking uh, from an exterior perspective. But what I really actually like about this build is the fact that he's keeping it somewhat period correct, if that's what you want to call it. Um, because it is a pre-LCI car, most people end up doing LCI conversions, but he is actually a fan of the pre-LCI M Sport. And so kind of what he's been doing is upgrading the bumpers and just kind of the overall styling. Um, he's put new taillights on, the uh, black line taillights for the pre-LCI model, and uh, I think it's turning out really great. So I'll show you guys more when we get there. I don't know what it is about this car, but everybody tries to race me, I swear. So I've already raced today um, a supercharged Jaguar XF, uh, walked him. Oh, got to turn. And then just now I was screwing around on the highway with a Chevy SS with a Vauxhall badge on it. And um, along with him was a BMW 850i and a, what was it? I think it was a Mercedes S550. So I don't know, man. It's just like every time I get in this car, I hit 100 miles an hour easily. So I don't understand what the deal is, but I'll take it. All right, welcome back. Should be a familiar car, Kevin. All right, so quick rundown again on this car, just for the people who don't watch and should be watching. All right, it's been a while. <clears throat> uh, well, we got the Ford Star F14s recently. Now those are off of your car. Yeah, these should look familiar. And we got the red center caps on there to match the car. Yeah, that's cool. And We've done E92 mirror covers. These aren't the E90s, these are 92s. They're a little bit longer. It's a one by one carbon in here? Yep, uh, Auto Technic. Auto Technic. We did the Rush Custom sequential turn signals. Oh. We did uh, aluminum interior, it was wood before. You did the armrest on there. We did the carbon fiber handle, it's just the zip tie took came off of it recently, but uh -huh. that's on there. We got the Z, what are those, the ZHP shifters? Yep. With the perform, BMW Performance Alcantara boot, uh, Kobe wheel steering wheel, Kobe wheel Alcantara e-brake boot, with the carbon fiber steering wheel center trim off of your M3 as well. <laughs> oh yeah. The red, red start button. Start stop button. Mm -hmm. Okay. Your usual badge of approval. Yeah. <laughs> Got the paint match, the spoiler, IND, really gloss like black badges. Yep, yep. 
USR tail lights. Yep, we got the M Sport rear bumper. And what are we doing today? We are doing M Sport front bumper and USR headlights. So that's what I was telling these people is like, you're a fan of the pre LCI. Yeah. More so than the LCI model, which I think is actually, it turns it turned out really nice. I mean, yeah, I like. The rear uh, looks amazing, you know. The pre LCI a little bit better. It's got the round mirrors. The side mirrors are round instead of the square. And I'm just more of a fan of that M Sport front bumper compared to the LCI. They're both nice, though I won't say the other one isn't. Yeah, and then we also have, are these the clear headlights? I forget what you ordered. These are the black cornered out ones. Okay, and those are from Unique Style Racing, uh -huh. sponsor of ours. So check them out. The, the bumper's from out of a Euro a plug, plug yeah. out of California. The rear M Sport you got locally? Yeah, I got it locally off the Facebook group. Okay, yeah, so I did a full install on that. Um, the only thing left really is a drop. Yep. And then I think this thing will be looking good because obviously these are a little bit stretched, but um, this is exactly the same setup I had on my E90 335. So I think it'll look good when it's all said and done. Oh yeah, That's so September 6th. PPF coming up and uh, paint correction, some yep, sort of ceramic, ceramic coating. coating. This thing will be looking good. Yep. So yeah, so this video is going to be a two for one. It's going to be new headlights, new bumper, and how to install both of those. Mm, yeah, donuts, sweet. Okay, so first things first, pop the hood. So we're going to start off by taking the bumper off. Um, you've got four of these Torx bolts here on top. So these are going to be a T30 here on the top and then there's a bunch of 8 millimeter um, bolts that go on the underside of the bumper and then there's two um, bolts here, one here, one here. Those are also 8 millimeter screws, one on each side and then this whole thing should come right off. All right, next, you can either jack your car up, take the wheels off, or turn the wheel one direction. There's a couple screws down in here. Right here where my finger is, there's one. There's another one up here. And then underneath there's a bunch of these eight millimeter screws that go all the way across the front bumper. Okay, here on the driver's side, we've got all of our screws and everything out. There weren't much left on here, but so there is a little access door here that you have to take out. So just take, um, you know, flathead or something flat. I'm using this little thing here. Turn them, pop this thing out. That'll allow you to have a little bit more flexibility on pulling the wheel well back to access the two screws that are up here. All right, so again, one screw here, one screw here. So you need to pull the wheel well back, access to those two screws. Same thing on this side. So we're gonna turn the steering wheel the other direction in order to get this little panel off. Or well, you can reach your hand in there. Same thing, screw here and screw here. So the next part, we're ready to take the bumper off. Um, the only thing we need to be cautious of is pulling this out. There's this metal piece underneath here. And so when you pull this out, you just wanna make sure you're not scratching it against the fender and the headlight. Easy peasy. So this is the old one here versus the more aggressive. This is actually, so it's not an M Sport, it's an M Tech. That's what they call it for the pre-LCI. Um, this is just the regular bumper here with, um, it does have some color matched splitters there. And so we need to transfer over the hardware, those metal brackets over to this one, as well as the kidney grills. And then the new bumper actually came with new fog lights, uh, new mesh grills, all for underneath here. All right, so a couple things. Um, we need to reuse the hardware for the fog lights here. So it came with these two 10 millimeter screws here. One there, one there, so take those. I don't think we need that one yet. So I did that on both sides. And then here's all of the new mesh grills for the new bumper. And uh, the hardest part here is these little tabs. So there's these little plastic tabs from the bumper that go all the way around. You need to line them up and then you need to push it on strong or hard enough um, to get it over the actual tab because if you see these tabs, they'll have a little ledge right there. 
So you need to push really hard all the way around. We're gonna do that with the middle and then that side, and then we'll transfer over the bolts. And we've got new, uh, new fog lights, so these should bolt right in, and we'll use those bolts from that. All right, progress report. Finally got all these mesh grill things on here, which is kind of a pain in the ass to do. Um, and then, additionally, we transferred over the hardware and everything to mount the fog lights. Um, there are a couple holes over here. There's a hole down here in the bottom that does not go to anything, but uh, we ended up using a zip tie down there, and then this top part was floating around a little bit, so I put a zip tie around this, and now it's super solid, not going anywhere. Same with that side. And uh, we also transferred the kidney grills over, and we're good to go. So the only other thing is these guys. Okay, so we are ready for reinstall. Um, don't forget your metal bracket here. We transferred this over, it just kind of slips in. This side unfortunately didn't have one, so it is what it is. And then don't forget to screw in your light bulbs for the fog lights down there. And you should be good to go. Then it's just a matter of aligning. Technically we are ready for the bumper, but we are swapping headlights first. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how to take this out. All right, for headlights, there are several T30s. There's one here on top, there, there. There's one over here, way back inside of there. So you'll need a deep socket. These are T30s. And then I think there's one here underneath the bottom um, over here somewhere. So same thing with the passenger side as well. Okay, so taking this one off, this one off, this one over here on the side right there. So the headlight is actually attached to this headlight mounting bracket as well. So the bracket you have to remove, um, but to start with that, we have to remove one there, one there, those are also T30s. And then there's one way back here, back here, which you probably can't see. That one is also a T30. And then we should be good to go to take this whole thing out. So the whole headlight and the bracket will come out together. Got the driver's side headlight off. So once you remove all of those uh, Torx bolts, then all you need to do is unplug the lights on the back of the housing, so it's right here. So the thing about that is there are tabs. So there's tabs right here on each side, one on each side, you just have to squeeze it and pull out. It's kind of hard to do, but um, eventually we got it out. And then now there's only like one. Let's see, we took this bolt out here already for the, um, the headlight bracket. So if you flip it over, we have one bolt left right here. We have one bolt left right here that we need to remove, and then this whole bracket will come off. All right, so when you remove the headlight bracket, this is what it looks like. So again, take out all of those um, Torx bolts, and then you need to transfer this over to the new headlight. If the driver's headlight is on, double, triple check your wires, and it's connected. Test everything before you go any further, otherwise you're gonna be pissed if it doesn't work. All right, repeat the process on the passenger side. Again, make sure you double check everything's working and you should be good to go. And then you can start putting your T30s back in. There's two here, a couple on the bottom, a couple on the top. Make sure you align it properly so your gapping is good here between the fender and the headlight. And uh, the buffer should just go right back on. And then, yeah. Hold on, hold on. Come back. Come back center, center of the middle first. There you go. Hold on, the fog light to the There we go. And then we have to make sure the bottom stuff is around there. You got it? That side's good. I guess like that. I guess it's that way. Or the M3 like these. That's All right, final product. Headlights, bumper, on. So I guess the only things we encountered that were issues were proper having proper bolts because this uh, car was in an accident before. So we're missing a couple of OEM bolts, so it's kind of get all right down there, but it all worked out. Everything works. Otherwise, um, the only problem was the fog lights don't fit. The existing bulbs don't fit in there. 
so we're gonna have to figure that out later, but overall fitment on the bumper is pretty decent. Headlights pretty decent. Just for good measure, we'll see what this looks like out in the sunlight. There you go. Add some splitters and we'll be good to go.